Homestead. I'm Ava. This is Grandma. Today we're making strawberry syrup. Or strawberry cordial is another name for strawberry syrup. It's the old fashioned name, cordial. Um, look at this. I got aprons. Yeah. Who made, mom made us some aprons. Your mom. Yeah. My daughter. Right? So big red, little red. So we can have our um, name on here. Right? So let's talk about strawberries. Here in southwestern Ontario, which is where we're coming from, June is strawberry month. It's one of the first fruits to come off the land. I think rhubarb beats it. So rhubarb, people have already been harvesting rhubarb. So we want to take a look at strawberries because it's one of our favorite things, isn't it? Do you love strawberries? Here, um, look at this nice plant. Do you see that? Ava, turn it around show the people the strawberries. Right? I got this for Mother's Day from one of my daughters. They brought me a, they brought me a couple of them. The tornado tried to take them out. But it, it survived, it survived, so it's all good, right? But of course, obviously, these uh, five strawberries aren't really enough to do anything with, even when they do. We'll no. just enjoy plucking them off and eating them all. Okay, so today we're going to focus on what we can do with the strawberries. Now there's a couple things about the strawberries, first of all. Um, you don't actually have to go pick them. You don't, right now, you don't actually have to go grow them, right? If you have a good source, and I actually have a really good source. So we have a market here, and you should be on the lookout in your local area for markets that um, are moving vast amounts of, of produce. It's not local produce, it's just they're moving vast amounts and they sell it really, really cheaply. So if you can find one in your local area, like we found one in ours, um, right now we don't actually have to grow anything because I can go pick it up dirt cheap. And so this market is on Saturdays and um, I went and I got uh, a giant flat of strawberries for $10, only $10. We had, when we were doing our funnel cakes, we had strawberries mm -hmm. and they were good, weren't they? Yeah. All the way from California, but they were $5 for one little thing of strawberries and I bought a flat for $10. But the problem is when you're buying this kind of food like that, it's usually at its peak. That means they have to move it and get rid of it. Now these strawberries I picked up, they were gorgeous. Now I didn't have Ava here with the camera, so I couldn't show you a picture of them, but I brought them home and I immediately cut them up. And I just actually, so I just cut them up and threw them in a bag. And I wasn't really picky about how I froze them or I didn't do anything special. I just washed, cut, threw in a bag because I knew in two days I was going to boil them, right, to make our cordial. They come out? Whoa. Yeah. Okay, so what we're doing right now is we're going to take the water, Ava, fill it up with water. We'd already had some water in there, and we're going to put a little more water in here. And we're just going to boil this for anywhere from half an hour to an hour, depending on... Um, yeah, it's great. Depending on how how much juice we get out of it. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right. So we're having a little frozen strawberry. We could just have frozen strawberries for a treat. Would Would you like that? Okay. Actually, I I they do that all the time too. They take the frozen fruit and they just mush it like in a fruit processor, and then they have a sorbet. Mosquitoes actually, they just. Buy bags of frozen fruit and they just yeah. They just take a with this. Yeah, it's great. The kids love frozen fruit. When you get it cheap enough, you can do stuff like that. But I wouldn't. Fr if you're going to have fruit to be frozen, I wouldn't freeze it like the way I froze uh -oh. here because this just gets messy. But I knew that we were putting it in a pot to boil, so I didn't care, right? So we've got this in a pot to boil, and um, our strawberries. Although they grow them all year now. Like when I was a kid, you couldn't get a strawberry till the end of June. Right now, I mean, these are from California. And again, do we have to say, do we know how long we're going to be able to get a strawberry from California? Not very long. Ah, oh, well, we don't know that. But we might guess that it might not be very long, right, Ava? So, yeah. but right now, we can still get them from California. You can still find a market. And you can still go do all this stuff. So don't let 
not having a garden stop you from preparing food because there's so much that can be done by buying in bulk at a market right so much so what we're going to do is we're going to put this on the stove and boil it from for half an hour to an hour out to get all the juices out so, so what we're going to do is we're going to really take that water and turn it into strawberry juice Very boiled. Very boiled strawberries. We've been boiling for, I, I actually lost track of time. Yeah, because we went and uh, we let it just boil and we went and did something else. We're cleaning out a room, aren't we? So we were working on that while that was boiling. We don't like to waste our time, do we, Ava? Nope. Okay, so we'll go ahead, tell the folks what we're about. We're gonna drain it into this pot. Okay, as you can see, this our strawberries are pretty ugly looking. We've taken all the redness, we've taken taken it out, you can see it there. We've taken the juice out, we've, we're left with white blobs. We've taken all the nutrients out, we've taken all the flavor out, we've taken all the juice out by boiling it. And uh, so now we're gonna strain it and get rid of this. This is garbage. Maybe it can go in the compost heap, all right? Okay, so you're gonna carry it with both hands like this okay this particular pot is nice because it has a little plastic handle here and a nice little handle there but if you're using a pot like this where this is metal and this is metal you're going to want to put on your oven mitts right but i don't think you really need them for this pot this isn't this is kind of nice okay they were sweaty anyway it's really hot here today can you reach it without can you move the thing over a little bit i like this this yeah, thing that. okay let's try again Oh, and remember, this is boiling water. You don't want to spill Ow. this. Uh oh. You don't, you don't want to spill this on yourself. Go nice and easy so it doesn't splash up, Ava. But it was heavy. And it's heavy. We have a motto around here. We just don't like to do things in little bits, do we? Nope. We're going to do it. We like to do it large on a grand scale. Okay. Did that. There you go. Okay, so here, show the people. Good. So look at that. It's looking pretty gross, right? No yeah. color is left. It's blah, gray, white, whatever you want to call that, dirty brown. Oh, yeah. We've taken all the flavor out. So we're going to let this sit for about 20 minutes, half an hour, until all the juice is gone. Um, it looks like all the juice is gone, but you'll be surprised if you let how, how much of nothingness you'll have left the longer you let this sit. So we're going to let this sit. We're going to go back to clean in our room. And then we'll come back with step number three, I guess. Yep. Okay. Okay. Come on over, Little Red. Tell us what we're doing. Okay, so now we're putting it in jars. Yeah. Yeah, we are. But we have to do some in-between stuff. It's not ready yet. Did you want to taste it? Yeah, sure. Sure. Here it is. It's all done. Is it hot? It's red hot. And we'll just put in a little glass. There we go. There's our strawberry juice here. This all you need a little sip. It's hot, I know. <laughs> you, didn't, <laughs> you, didn't, you don't like that? No, <laughs> it doesn't taste very good. That's right. It, it tastes just, <laughs> just watered down strawberries. Yeah, it tastes awful. It tastes blah, blah, blah. So what do we need to do here? We gotta give it some flavor. We gotta we gotta zap it up a little bit, right? Yeah. So we're gonna do that with some lemons. Go ahead. So cut it in half. And have you ever used one of these before? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're oh right. We used to make lemonade all the time. Mm -hmm. We make our home we made homemade drinks here all the time. Because why, Ava? Because they're the best. They're the best. They're the best, right? Everything tastes better homemade, doesn't it? Yep. And why would you ever drink the Kool-Aid when you can have the truth? 
Yeah. Do you know what it means to drink the Kool-Aid? Uh, did you get poisoned or something? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, it means following lies, really, doesn't it? Yeah. When people say don't drink the Kool-Aid, what they're telling you is don't follow lies. Okay. There we are, we're putting the lemons in. Putting it through a sieve because we don't want the pits. There we go, we'll just set that there and then you can uh, squeeze another lemon. Did we mention that, what is June? June's the month of the, you know? Strawberry. Well, yeah, that too, and it's kind of, the strawberry kind of looks like a sacred heart. A sacred heart. It's the month of the sacred heart. Yeah, so so how appropriate that we have a nice little, um, you know, we can we can kind of remember that with our, little, with our strawberry fest we're going to have here. Mm -hmm. A little lemon in there, a little acid, aceticity, so that helps with the preserving. Okay, and it adds a little bit of flavor too. And we're going to drop in some sugar so that it's not so... Do you want me to get a video of that? Well, you can just do it. I think they can see. Here, let's get a wooden spoon. What's a wooden spoon for? Just stir it. So the sugar, here it's dropped. There we go. The sugar is to taste. And we made quite a lot here. This looks like at least... 16 cups at least a gallon we've got at least a gallon in here so we went I just went with the full two cups and now we're going to put it back on the stove and we're going to boil it down what happens when we boil the sugar what does sugar do remember the science where you it thickens sugar gets thicker as you boil it right and when it steams when you're boiling something this the liquid the water in it is steaming and leaving your product. So your product with the sugar and the releasing of the steam, you're condensing it. Like when you buy a can of condensed soup or something, they've taken all the extra water out of it and you have to re-add the water. But, so we're gonna do that with this because this is, is a syrup. So we're gonna boil it down a little bit, okay? So Does it taste good now? Well, I will. I think I think we need to boil it a little, little more and um, dissolve that sugar and bring it down a bit. Okay, so okay. let's put it on the stove, Ava, and here we are uh, on to our last final stage. Yep. What do you think? Putting it in jars for yep. when you want to make your cordial, you can just take out the jar. Yeah, we boiled it down. We've uh, we boiled it down a third. So we've gotten rid of a lot of the liquid. This is red hot. Careful, yeah. see the sea steam coming off that. You want to give it a little taste, see if it tastes any better than the last time. And you yeah. see, it is it is still liquidy, but it's substantially thicker. It's red hot, watch it. Oh yeah, that's much better than the last time. Last time it was just like watered down strawberries. Yeah, it was gross last time, wasn't it? Can it up. Because how we're going to serve this stuff is we're, we got a nice little cordial bottle here. Unfortunately, we can't store any. Here, look at this. I put, we put a little design on it so we can tell. We can't store anything in this bottle. Not for any, like not like on the shelf. So we're going to put some in here and then we're going to put it in the fridge. Do you want to do that, Eva? Do that? Yeah. yeah. Cool it down. And we're going to drink this today. today. Buddy and Anna Green Gables fan, remember? Yeah. Anna Green Gables. They're all about the raspberry cordial. It's too full. Well, it's a little full, but that's okay. So we're going to pop that in the fridge, and we're going to have that tonight. Okay, so we're going to do that. And then the rest of this, we're going to can up. Go ahead, fill it up, Ava. wipe down this. Why, why do we do that? Why do we do that? Because we don't want to have botulism. We don't want to get bacteria in there. So in food, what makes food rotten all the time is air. Right. I don't even like that lid. I think it's dented that one. Here, let's, uh, I think it's too big. No, it's not too big. It's I'm just sure a little dented. Big? Yeah. Let's try a different one here. We've made these warm. There, see that one fits. Yeah. So put put it. 
when you're also when you're storing your preserves, like we're going to put this on because we're going to put it in the water bath and we're going to boil it for 15 minutes so that it's completely sealed. The rubber kind of melts down on the glass and so no air can get in it. That's why it needs to be no, um, no bacteria on the rim because air and bacteria together breed germs, germs. botulism sickness. You see that? So we're going to fill it up and then we're going to drop it in the canning bath for about 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Okay, Ava. So, or should I say that, Rick? <laughs> so should we, uh, we've done a lot of hard work. We've put down a couple of cans uh, into the pantry of uh, strawberry syrup. And um, I did do another batch, right? We did the batch that you watched us doing and then I did another batch again because um, I wanted it to be more syrupy. Yeah, the first one wasn't. We didn't add enough sugar. I didn't add enough sugar. So we didn't make it syrupy enough. It wasn't condensed enough. I mean, you, if you were going to drink the first batch, you would just drink it as is. Maybe you could add a tiny bit of soda, but if you added too much, uh, you were going to totally dilute it and it wouldn't taste good. So you, it, that, was, that was the uncondensed version. This is the condensed version. So here we are. We put it in our nice little bottle and we got it and we're going to enjoy the fruits of our labor. It's not been this uh, southwestern Ontario. The weather has not been very kind to us. It's been mostly raining and the days have not been hot at all. So here we are. It's very windy but we're out on the front porch and we're going to enjoy a little uh, a little treat. So okay so we got our ice and we got what we've got here is we've got club some club soda or you can do water or you can do um, lemonade. You know how you go to Wendy's? Yeah, and they do the strawberry with the bucket of lemonade. The bucket, yeah, the strawberry lemonade. So what they do is it's, that's just their normal old lemonade, and they just give you a squirt of strawberry syrup. Oh. That's all they do. So we can do we can recreate that here at home if we had some lemonade. We don't have any lemonade right now. But I did pick some mint out of the garden. So away we go. Let's go, Ava. Here, you crack open your... Let's see how this tastes. So we like, I like the club soda. I like a little bubbly in my life. But if you don't like bubbly, you just want to go the old fashioned route with water, that's good too. Is that enough? Yeah, yeah, you only need a little bit. When this is in the syrup, you only need a little bit. If it's not condensed enough, you know, you just have to drink as is. Okay, so we'll give you a little, you want to give it, pour yourself a little shot. strawberries in mine. What are you going to do, Ava? Oh. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. And look at this. This is the mint from the garden. Can you see that? Piece of mint. So you can, uh, you scrumple that up a bit. You'll get a little mint flavor in there. And we'll serve it just like, you know, my father, your great-grandfather, he loved, he loved the idea of sipping a mint julep on the patio. He liked to pretend he was in the south, too. Mm. What do you say? That's good. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to good living. Yeah. Remember to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button so you know when we post a video. Goodbye and God bless. God bless everybody. Bye.